Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about trims. Because my hair is in a very bad need of a trim. Yesterday I actually was very impulsive and went ahead and just did the first trim myself. But I've woken up today and seen that there is a few parts that I kind of missed that I could trim. So I thought I would do it on camera for you guys because I was like, these guys are gonna be so upset that I've trimmed my hair and not showed them how to do it. So I usually get my hair cut. I've never done a trim in years. I've been getting my hair cut by like a curly hair specialist. I've got my hair cut about five times since transitioning back uh, in 2015. So today I'm just gonna show you guys how I trimmed. I plaited my hair into two on each side and then another two on the other side and basically just trimmed the end of the plait where I saw that it really needed to cut in off. I knew that I was due a trim because my ends just wouldn't moisturize at all. No matter how much product I put on the ends of my hair, they just wouldn't soak up the moisture. There was nothing that I could do to make them moisturize and also detangling I found that the ends of my hair were really hard to get through they just weren't cooperating at all and I knew yeah it's time for them to go today I've taken down my braids and I can see that there's still a few parts that need cutting as you can see here is quite frizzy and split ends and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and do the search and destroy method which is when you just go through the hair curl by curl and check where needs trimming and where doesn't but my scissors that are especially for cutting hair you don't want to go ahead and use any kind of scissors you want to make sure that you have scissors that are specifically for cutting hair i'll go through the first plait which is like this part here and then i'll just look section by section quite a few i got rid of like parts that were oh i can see here there's still a bit that probably could go as you can see here so i'll make sure that i run my fingers down the strands of hair and then find exactly where the frayed parts start. That bit of hair seems cool. It's just this section here needs trimming. So I don't know if you can see, but the end here is where I'm gonna trim because as you can see, it's kind of fixed still here, but then the ends here are just completely frayed. So I'm simply just going to snip. There you go. So at least now we have like a straight end. Now you wanna make sure that we don't cut that section again. So I'm simply just gonna move it to the other side. So now we're gonna go into the next part of that plait and just spring down the hair and see if there's anywhere. But I'm pretty happy with this, um, this section of hair, I don't feel like it needs trimming so we can go ahead and leave that one too. Just to let you know guys, I am not an expert so please don't come for me in the comments, I'm just simply doing what I feel is right for my hair. It is my hair, if I'm doing it wrong it's fine, I will be getting a cut near the end of the year anyway so I'm just doing what I can DIY style. Okay, yeah, so I can see here, I definitely can do with another trim. It's time to trim. It is much neater. And now you'll just find that it's much easier to moisturize and define the ends of your curl, curls than it was before your trim. As you can see, like the ends of my hair are just so dry and frizzy and ooh, yeah, this needs to go again through it. <sighs> I feel like a lot of this, okay, we'll separate this. Yeah, a lot of this part needs to go. Ooh, I took quite a bit off there. Do the same on the other side of my hair now. So let me know in the comments guys how often you trim your hair. I find that in the winter my hair is so dry. I'm actually gonna just stick to doing twist outs and braid outs as much as I can because these wash and goes are not working in the winter. 
I'm getting a little bit scissor happy here and I could see myself just cutting my hair, but let's not do that, Shannon. Like here you can see that the curls are cut nicely, so I'm gonna leave that section. Also, I just wanna let you guys know that I did do an overnight treatment and that just shows you how bad the ends are because even the ends aren't moisturize after an overnight moisturizing treatment they should be good but they weren't so that means that they need to go so i'm happy with cutting them off because i just know it's not going to work at all it's also hard with curly hair especially if you do wash and goes all the time you might find it not like you can't figure out if you need a trim or not just because your hair is always in curls and you can't really see but it's when you start to feel like it's really dry the ends and it's tangling it's probably time to let it go just at the ends i can see it's actually where the color is i colored my hair last year on the ends so it's kind of drying out here and growing out so the color was fine that it was actually done in la in a diva curl like salon place with a diva curl specialist i'll leave her details down below and i did really enjoy just having that little bit of color on the ends but it's time for it to go because it's really drying out now and yeah so this is my hair trimmed i feel like it looks okay you can kind of look as well but this is an ongoing thing i can always trim when I go along, but for now, I think I'm happy. Let's collect all of the hair and see how much hair was actually cut off. Adding on to what I trimmed yesterday, this is how much hair I've just trimmed off, which isn't that much when you think of how much hair I have. And my curls are looking fresher. I can't wait to do a proper wash and go. And I'm gonna show you guys my curly hair routine. So make sure you stay tuned for my next video and I will see you guys soon.